There have been a few rumours floating around social media in the very beginning of Harry and Meghan's relationship that Harry's best friend Tom Inskip, aka Skippy, had met Meghan, who was a yacht girl, first. Which is why he was so sceptical of the relationship, he was ultimately booted from Harry's inner circle because of it. The people in Harry's circle never thought the relationship would go this far. It was a fling at best in their eyes. Allegedly, of course. Many stories have surfaced about events which allegedly took place in the run-up to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding back in 2018. Whether it's claims of blazing family rows, reports that the late Queen summoned Prince Harry for a dressing down on Meghan's dissatisfaction at many of the proposed plans, it was certainly a challenging period for royal staff behind palace walls. But it would appear that members of staff were not the only ones struggling, as it was claimed a number of Harry's close school friends felt he changed too much since he and Meghan got together. So much so that when they expressed concern they were met with the prince's anger and were ultimately banned from the evening wedding reception. In the book Finding Freedom, the authors Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand said that Prince Harry's friend Tom Inskip felt like he'd lost a friend following Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018. The authors claimed Tom had expressed concern over the speed in which Harry's new relationship was moving and suggested the couple live together before tying the knot. Although they said Tom's comments came from a good place, Prince Harry was reportedly very hurt and banned his old school friend from the evening wedding reception. They wrote, Notable absence from the reception was Skippy, Harry's old friend, who'd questioned the prince's relationship with Meghan and his wife Lara. They were invited to the wedding ceremony and lunchtime reception, hosted by the Queen, but didn't make the cut for the evening bash. In their biography, the authors also write that Tom expressed his disappointment at brunch with friends the next day. He's alleged to have told friends, Meghan has changed Harry too much, and concluded that we've lost him. Meanwhile, another former Eton friend claimed that Prince Harry was awed by the likes of the Cloonies and Oprah. The authors added, Many of Harry's old friends said that the evening guest list was the prince and his bride's way of saying, these are the people that we want in our lives moving forward. Another claim about escalating tension between Prince Harry and his old schoolmates was explained in Tom Bower's explosive book, Revenge, Meghan Harry and the War Between the Windsors. According to Bower, Harry invited 16 of his old friends from Eton to join him at Sandringham for dinner on Friday, shooting on Saturday and then lunch on Sunday. The author wrote that Harry was looking forward to endless banter with his best friends, but everyone left exhausted after meeting Meghan for the first time as she challenged every guest who contravened her work values. He went on to claim that Meghan lacked any sense of humour and was a dampener on the party. Bauer writes, He hadn't anticipated Meghan's reaction. Their jokes involving sexism, feminism and transgender people ricocheted around the living rooms and dining rooms. Without hesitation, Meghan challenged every guest whose conversation contravened her values. She lacked any sense of humour, driving home after Sunday lunch. The texts pinged between the cars. Oh my god, what about her? said one. Harry must be fucking nuts, 